1993 Upper Deck Series 2. Looking for the Jeter rookie. Now, see if we can get through this with minimal paper loss because we know there's going to be some bricking. But so far, the box been pretty lucky. You know, bricking, but no paper loss, which is good. All right, we got Dan Plesak. These are some nice cards, though. And we have Harold Reynolds. We got Paul Molitor here. Uh, we got an insert. What is this? Frank Thomas, Reggie Jackson there. That's pretty cool. Let me forget to put the Molitor on the stand there. All right, here we go. Oh, we got two in a row. Upper deck quality control. Here we go. It's John Candelaria, too. And then Chris Carpenter. There's John Candelaria, number two. Can they do that like with a Jeter rookie? Oh, that would be nice. All right, who do we have here? We have... Gene Harris. You know, if you're going to give me a two of one card, like hook me up. We got Rick Williams. Nice pick there. I'm sorry. Rick Wilkins. I'm pretty sure he's not watching, so. All right. There we go. We have Rich Amaral. And then we have Jeff Brantley. Just chillaxing there. We have Glenn Allen Hill getting a massage. A little, a little suspect. We got Mark Newfield. Okay, not the prospect we're looking for. Like I said, you got bricking, but no paper loss, which is good. You got a David Justice here. Signing autographs. Peter Gammons inside the numbers. And then we got a nice Cincinnati Red card here. Who do we got? Dibble, uh, Riho, Larkin. Reggie Jefferson, maybe. And who else am I missing? Nope. Reggie Sanders and Roberto Kelly. That's why. Because they both suck. So we'll put that one over here, though, for you Reds fans. There you go. Well, they suck, but they did beat the A's in 1990, which was pretty sad. So, all right. No Jeter. Thanks for watching.